With new details on a flag football stabbing tonight, two people are facing charges after a game between two groups of young men in Somerset this weekend ended in violence. And while the suspects were facing a judge this morning, the two stabbing victims were still recovering in the hospital. Eyewitness News reporter Walt Buteau joins us live from Somerset Police Department with tonight's top local story. Police here are now saying that this was an ongoing war of words between two flag football teams. One of those teams now kicked out of the league. The other team hoping that two of its players continue to recover from the stab wounds. Defendant did stab uh, two victims with a knife at the team. 20 year old Justin Farland, who mouthed a few words to someone in the courtroom during his arraignment, was part of a team made up of players with criminal records, according to police. The last time the Taunton Terrors played the victims' team, there were on-field squabbles and more. During those games, there were some harsh words exchanged, and Taunton guys did say, next time we fight, we're going to come back with uh, knives and guns. We're not going to use our hands. Farland, who was on the bench the night of the stabbing, is accused of bringing the knife, and surveillance video shows him using it. He's not playing that night, and uh, he decided to get involved. You, you, you see him on the video, he actually stabs one guy, then he circles around like a vulture, and then he goes in and hits the other guy. The victims are 29-year-old Steve Rocha and 29-year-old James Hilario. Farland's accused accomplice is 20-year-old Erica D'Souza, who police say drove Farland away from the scene and helped him get rid of the weapon. After he stabbed the two individuals inside the facility, he ran outside. Erica D'Souza opened her car door, and that's where uh, Mr. Farland disposed of the knife that he used to stab uh, the victims. And police are still looking for that knife. Also, we can tell you that the two victims are said to be improving at Rhode Island Hospital. Tonight at 6, we will have reaction from one of the victim's father and from the owner of the business where the stabbing took place. Live with the Mobile Newsroom in Somerset, Walt Buteau, Eyewitness News.